What is up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to mask video footage inside of After Effects. Let's get started. So once After Effects is open, you wanna go ahead and create a new composition, and we'll call this uh, video, and we'll hit enter. And then you wanna go grab your video footage. I'm just gonna grab this piece right here. And then just drag that into your new composition and the footage should resize itself if it is the right dimensions. If not, you can go into the composition settings um, and you can hit command K for the shortcut or you can go to composition and say composition settings and then you can change the aspect ratio here. Next, we want to create a new mask and you can do that by just using the shortcut command N or again, you can go to composition, new composition. We'll call this mask and we'll create one more called final. So we wanna go into our mask, and this is basically what you will be, of course, masking the footage with. So this could be a shape, could be an image, uh, maybe like a PNG, but I'll just be using Albus Dumbledore. I will just be using a square, and I'll just click here and hold down shift to create a perfect square. I'll go to rectangle, uh, transform, or rectangle path and make that 75, just a little smaller. And then what I wanna do is go to the add, this little drop down here, and select repeater. That'll allow me to duplicate it uh, uh, multiple times, obviously, because that's what duplicating means. And let's say uh, 18 copies here. And then we, you wanna go to the repeater one and hit command D to duplicate it, and go to the transform repeater and change the position from 100 to zero to zero to 100. That way we can have it come down. And we'll change the copies on the second repeater to 10. And we'll just center that, perfect. Next, we wanna go to our final composition and we wanna drag in the video and mask compositions there. And make sure your mask is at the top. And then just go to the video and make sure the track mat is up on your menus and then just select alpha mat mask. And then you will see that the footage will actually go and reveal itself through the mask here and on these squares. Now, if you don't want a black background, that's very easy to fix. Just double click on the rectangle tool here and a new shape or rectangle will be created and you can drag that to the back. And then that is a customizable shape. So you can change the color to red or you can change it to green or white. Now, because our mask is actually a shape layer, we can't animate that. So if we wanted them to go from squares to circles, we could put a keyframe on the roundness and jump to two frames or two seconds, sorry, and maybe put 50 pixel roundness and they will become circles. Then you, as soon as you jump to your final composition, you'll see that they animate from squares to circles. So you can do pretty much anything with this. If you wanna decrease the copies, you can maybe just do five and jump up here to the other copies on the first repeater and make that five as well, and then spread them out. You could do whatever you want. It's really up to you, of course. And I'm just gonna make a square of squares, like so. And I'm gonna drag that to the middle. And I'm gonna delete the roundness so that they're squares again. And then I will increase the width and jump to my final composition. And you'll see that that has been updated to reveal the footage. So like I said, you could do this with a PNG. All you have to do is make sure that the mask is on the top and then go to track mat and make sure alpha mat mask is selected. Well guys, that is it for this video. I hope that was helpful in some way or another. Be sure to click that like button down below and leave a comment with any suggestions you have for future videos. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.